What are Croatian women like? Stubborn, kind, attractive, warm, independent, complainers, and they will annoy the shit out of you if you're not careful. <laughs> what are Croatian men like? <laughs> Check her studs. Oh, Very nice. Love beautiful women. Womanizers. They're mama's boys. But not all of them. <laughs> My name is Anna Claire, and you are here to learn about Croatia. So let's dive in. And these things are from a perspective of someone who is Croatian and knows my fellow Croatians, but also someone who's lived outside of Croatia for a long time. And every time I come back, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. We Croatians do that. <laughs> I've also asked my followers on Instagram to tell me what are stereotypes about coming to Croatia and Croatians themselves. Make sure to stick to the end of this video to check those out too. Let's go. The thing that absolutely comes first is the people. This is not only Croatia, I think all of Balkans is like this. So Bosnia, Serbia, Croatia, all super friendly, warm people. Croatians and Balkan people are really open to and willing to connect to other people and we're really good at it. So if you are on a night out or anywhere, as a matter of fact, and if you meet someone and we're just vibing, like we are gonna be considering each other friends. You know, we're gonna swap numbers and next day we're gonna go and get coffee together and we're gonna talk like we've known each other for hundred years. And this is the way it works in Croatia. Croatian or Balkan people tend to come across a bit judgy. We are straight shooters. We don't mess around. We say it as it is. We don't try to sugarcoat it. We just simply say it as it is. To me, that's super normal and natural. And I needed to like filter that out when I moved to London because I realized it comes across as rude and judgy. How rude! We're not trying to be mean, we're just trying to be honest. And that leads me to another thing. We're also very opinionated. We have opinions on everything. You see where I'm going with this? Like, we don't have a filter, we just say it as it is in here. And sometimes it lands well, and sometimes, most often, it doesn't land well. <laughs> another thing that I put on my list is cheap tasty food the food you're gonna eat in croatia is out of this world honestly it is so yummy for croatian standards the food is not cheap but for someone coming from america england australia wherever it's gonna be very affordable but it's also not on the healthy side if you know what i mean now this point leads nicely into the next point in Croatian culture, it's very normal to form your day around lunch. For example, in London, when people go have a lunch mid-work, they would go to Pret or whatever place they can get their food fast. They're most likely gonna go back to the office and eat it there. We don't work that way, okay? Mm -mm. We believe that sitting down and eating lunch is like a birthright. You use that hour to sit down at a restaurant, talk to your colleagues, and you enjoy your food. Like this bullet point should actually be called Cafe Nisanya. <laughs> it's like the culture of sipping coffee for two hours. You would honestly be sipping one cappuccino for two hours. And while you do that, you're often gossiping you are commenting on other people, you're complaining about your life, about your problems, and also some like friend-to-friend -friend therapy sessions. Actually, any important life situations and like life decisions are made over a cup of coffee. Americans and English people, you're doing it wrong. I hate to say it, you're doing it wrong. If you're not sitting at the coffee shop for two hours and if you haven't solved at least two of your life problems, you've done it wrong. This brings me to the fourth point. How do you sum this up? Service industry. No, 
you stay at the coffee shop for two hours. Now the service there is not gonna babysit you the way they do in America or in England. It's kind of like when you order your drink and you get it delivered, very often they're gonna charge it to you straight away. You're gonna give the money and when you give the money, it's like, boom, they're gone. And if you need something later, it's like, you need to go and find them. Had to move because the light was dying on me. So change of scenery. Another thing that comes in handy to know here in Croatia, in coffee shops, you actually can order alcohol. This is not really common in America and England. If you want to drink alcohol, you would go to a bar or a pub. In America, you'd go to the bar. In England, you'd go to the pub. In Croatia, we don't really do bars and pubs. We do coffee shops and nightclubs. We do have some bars and we do have some pubs, but they're not really that popular. Another thing that is slightly less convenient for people who don't smoke is in most places in Croatia, smoking is allowed. Not in restaurants, just coffee shops. And this is also common in nightclubs. Smoking is allowed in coffee shops and it's just it is honestly something I hope that they would change because it's so unhealthy and it doesn't promote healthy living because it literally encourages people to keep smoking. But, you know, to each their own. That's just my opinion. You do you. Now we have come to the last point. It's probably the most important for you people who aren't traveling to Croatia. Croatia is not always warm and it's not always sunny. I can't stress this enough. Every person who I talk to and I mentioned that I'm from Croatia, they're like, oh my God, what an exotic, sunny, beautiful country. And I'm like, you've never been there, have you? <laughs> it is all of that, true, but it's also not. Croatia is not like going to Maldives where you can expect sun all year round. Croatia is a summer destination place from April till let's say October. But winters, y'all, no, where did you hear that? It's colder than London, actually. London actually has more mild winters and mild summers as well. Whereas Croatia is more of an extreme. It has colder winters and hotter summers. Please, if you're visiting Croatia in winter months, bring Carves, hats, gloves, all you got, because it's going to be cold. These were top things that you need to expect when you're coming to Croatia. And now I'm going to tell you a few things that you should expect from Croatian S. <laughs> okay, these are all things that came through Instagram, so it's not really my ideas, but I do agree with all of them. The most common thing that people mentioned were the coffee sipping culture, which I told you all about. So we're gonna skip that. Another thing that is very common for Croatians to do, and it's related to the coffee culture, is when you're done with your coffee, your lunch, if you haven't paid the bill for whatever reason, they are most likely gonna leave cash on the table, on the receipt, and put a glass over it. <laughs> and they're just gonna walk away. And most likely there's going to be a little tip in there. So they're not really expecting any change. So if you're in a rush and you really need to like leave like five minutes ago and you cannot get a hold of your waiter because he's disappeared, then you can leave the cash on the table, put an ashtray or a glass over it and you can just walk away. It's important to mention tipping in Croatia. It's not included in the bill like it is in England. And it's not even like America where it's custom to have, what was it, like 10, 13, I don't know, percent of the total bill to pay the tip. Tip is not mandatory. Tip is like, if you want to leave me a tip, leave a tip. If you don't, fine, whatever. But let's say if you're at the coffee shop and your receipt comes to 24 kunas, then what most people would be, they would give 30 kunas and they would be like, it's fine. And that's tipping there, you know? You kind of like round it up to the next big number. So if it's, if you're at 29, you're not gonna round it up to 30, you're gonna say probably 40. A lot of people have mentioned the beauty of the nature and our seaside. 
which I think y'all know already because this is the reason why you come to Croatia. But honestly, Croatia has one of the cleanest seas that I've ever seen in my life. It's honestly so clean and clear and blue and gorgeous, but come here and see it yourself. Oh, a lot of people have mentioned beautiful women. What do you think? <laughs> no, honestly, Croatian women are beautiful. They take care of themselves. Like, we're very fashionable. If you go to the city center, women and men, they would be very dressed up. But also Serbian and Bosnian, all the Balkan region. I'm sorry, but we do have beautiful women. What's the say? You know, don't get disappointed. Men are pretty good looking too. So, you know, women, you can come to Croatia too. So that's it. I think I've given you some pretty good material. If there's anything else you want to know about Croatia and what to expect, put it down in the comments and I will reply to you because honestly, how else will you know? Hope you'll think of me when you come to Croatia. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Thank you.